मेरे बाबा को लगता है उन्होंने महात्मा गांधी की हत्या की है I had no idea about this film. As a matter of fact, I just found this uh, title very intriguing, and uh, and Pankhir is a very dear friend. So these are the two reasons that I came to see the picture. Thirty eight January, nineteen forty eight. By seventeen p.m. Good luck. मैंने चाट बोट कर गांधी जी को नहीं मारा। नहीं मारा। This is not a film uh, that needs a clap. It needs some introspection, some thought, some soul searching. Janu Barwa, it's an unusual combination. I was expecting something unusual, and it is. It's a different kind of film, and plus, Urmila uh, performance. I feel like very unusual, and Anubham Khair, obviously. I think it's beautiful. It's a very, very different film, and uh, very convincingly done. I think it's fabulous. It's a beautiful film, and the fact that everybody gets moved by it means that हमारे अंदर कहीं ना कहीं सब में एक सच्चा इंसान और ऑनेस्टी की इच्छा भी भी है. That's what strikes a chord. बहुत अच्छी परफॉर्मेंसेस हैं. Anupam is brilliant. I'm so proud of him. The second half suddenly developed a tremendous amount of pace, and Anupam was. Huh? Urmila had that very good vulnerability because she was the one who was suffering. Anupam was the person who was in the disease, but she was suffering, and I think that came across extremely well. Very little as an actor you can do, and whatever little that you can do, you should do without trying to be preachy. And I don't think I could have gotten a better chance to do that than this one. Papa, the door is closed, Papa. The door is closed, Papa. Come on, come on. Papa, the door is closed, Papa. The door is closed, Papa. Oh my God, Papa. Papa. Expectations of Anupam Khair. He's my favorite. I'm his favorite. My expectation was absolutely according to what I am watching now, because the film is made from heart. The film is full of soul, you know, and it's an very honestly made film. Being a film with uh, Anupam Ankal, you always expect a lot. He's somebody who's very dear to me. Uh, I consider him to be a guru of mine. He's taught me my acting and uh, somebody I've grown up in front of. So being a film of his, which he's also produced and acted in, uh, was something I was looking forward to and uh, had a lot of great expectations. Such a wonderful film. It leaves you dumbstruck after you see the film. It's just a film everybody should watch. Beloved leader, Bapu as we called him, the father of the nation, is no more. मैंने गांधी को नहीं मारा।
very very powerful film the wonderful performances of Prabhupada and from the top the main thing which after seeing the film itself the film has got beyond the film and i have great regard for janu barwa over the years he's a colleague of mine from the film institute and i have loved his work uh, i had heard good things about urmila and um, she has absolutely outdone herself anupam uh, is wonderful and the film i'm i'm really deeply deeply moved it's far ahead of my expectations and गांधी जी को जानबूझ के नहीं मारा मेरे बाबा को लगता है उन्होंने महात्मा गांधी की हत्या की वो जिक्र है बापू की विचारधारा की हत्या का और वो मुझे लगता है हम सब कहीं ना कहीं जाके उसके दोषी हैं तो ये एक दिल को टटोलने वाला सवाल है जिसका जवाब देना सामान्य व्यक्ति के लिए बहुत कठिन है क्योंकि इसका जवाब देने के लिए सच्चाई की ताकत होना बहुत जरूरी है और मुझे लगता है कि एज फार एज परफॉर्मेंसेज एंड डायरेक्शन गो है फिल्म and uh, i am really really uh, overwhelmed with the response i feel uh, brilliant you know everybody has loved the film and uh, i'm a, a part of such a landmark film uh, it's it's amazing when from the anupam khair the expectation always high or uh, from from the promo that would break out that it was a gut wrenching film so i was ready for an experience which would just twist me inside out and it did it really did um, but it went beyond my expectation because there was also a very nice pacey plot so it said a lot and yet at the same time it wasn't burdened by saying a lot you know so it was a very moving film a simple film uh, i think just a beautiful film i loved it you the man how are both of you feeling now that the first show oh, yeah yeah very very nice <laughs> we feel fantastic we feel elevated we feel uh, proud to be part of the film okay so we've been listening to some awesome responses out here do you think you've achieved what you set out here yes i think we wanted to make an honest film and we've done that any message combined message to say the film yeah <laughs> play a retired hindi professor called professor uttam chaudhary he is a widower is like any principal from that person it's very fashionable to say for actors to say i became that person but i can very proudly say or i can say it very sheepishly that all the films that i've done uh, there was always an element of anupam kher in uh, in 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 those characters even a film which is always referred to as my best work is saranj Well, Saransh is a fantastic role, is a fantastic character, uh, and but there was a hunger of an actor who was looking for work. There was a hunger of a struggling actor who was who had spent lots of nights on the pavements, on the platforms, and who was looking for an a role to happen. That Anupam Kher was an unknown person. This Anupam Kher had a burden of being Anupam Kher, uh, which was which made it more difficult. Um, but then that was the challenge also uh, so so for those 3 months 
I had to be that person. That character I always like to visualize in some actor. So Anupam Kher I had in mind. वो जो प्रोफेसर उत्तम चौधरी है, वो किरदार ऐसा बने जिसके साथ में हर किसी का आईडेंटिफिकेशन हो, जो हम में से हर किसी को लगे कि वो मेरे पिता हो सकते हैं। बाबा, चश्मा दीजिए। Actually, I play Trisha, and there is nothing really particularly special about her, uh, you know, on an onset. You know, she is just like most of the normal girls uh, working for an NGO. Bad ki pedit bacho ke liye jo pratham ne kiya hai, uska sara credit mujhe mat dijiye. Hamne sabne milke kiya. Definitely feel I identify with her. I identify with the poem which is there in the movie, which. Uh, essentially says that uh, anybody who tries hard enough can never fail in life. Leheron se dar kar nauka paar nahi hoti. Himmat karne walon ki haar nahi hoti. Leheron se dar kar nauka paar nahi hoti. Himmat karne walon ki haar nahi hoti. That also I think is the basis of his life. My uh, character in the film, I play... Dr. Siddhal Kutari. Urmila's character comes to me with a certain problem. Ha. So tell me, what is your father's father's problem? He thinks that he killed Gandhi. And I decide to help her out and take up her case. The character I play in this film is that of a lawyer, a prosecuting lawyer. I think this character has a lot of, even though it's a very small role, he has a lot of personal problems, there's great anger, there's great frustration, which he's trying to vent out on somebody. In this particular case, he vents it out on Mr. Kale's character. Well, I'm playing Karan, Anupamji's son, Professor Uttam Chaudhary's son, and Urmila's brother. He's a very, very practical guy and he's very attached to his father. I'm, I'm just a newcomer in the film and everybody is way, way, way experienced. And this is my first film. And he never made me think that I'm a newcomer. He treated me extremely well. I'm playing a character whose name in the film is called Runu. Why, Bhaiya? What is Nothing, sis. You're a little bit. Just rest. We'll talk tomorrow. Hmm? Baba, how is he? He's fine. Okay? Eat this and sleep. Let's go. I think somewhere at the back of my mind, the moment I said yes to do this film, I knew that I have to be a part of this project. It was an intuitive feeling. And something even tells me that this film is going to work. My character in the film is called Ashish. Actually, in our house, this is the first love marriage. That's also intercast. And your mother? What did she say? You'll see me. When? He's a very practical person uh, who actually believes that you need to think for yourself. You can't think for other people all the time. In this picture, I have a style in this picture. The theme is always coming in the picture. It was a very complex story, you know. It, I mean, I was like, whoops, you know. I, it's difficult to make music for this kind of uh, stories because you have a lot of things to keep in mind. It's not a Bollywood, Bollywood movie, but it's, it has a lot of stuff. Initially, I was a bit scared, nervous, you know, how would we go towards. But obviously, having Anupam Ji, my dad, you know, we all sat, discussed. So this how slowly, slowly we came to know what music we're going to design for it. मैंने गांधी जी को नहीं मारा, मैंने गांधी को नहीं मारा। I was 
very fussy about uh, these two characters. Of course, Anupama I had in mind while writing. The other character, daughter's, daughter's character, which uh, done, is done by Urmila. But the actor, I was writing in the screen play, I was doing work in the screen play, so I told him that when I was writing his character, I was very worried and I was very difficult, I was very tension. And I was very worried that when you will live this character, आप कैसे इसको करेंगे तो मैं देखना भी चाहूँगा। This is one character I have portrayed with complete honesty and without the craft of an actor. When you have done about 300 films and you have been in movies for the last 20 years, your craft supersedes an actor. And there was no way that this character could have been portrayed with any of the so-called skills of an actor. The only thing that could have or that has worked hopefully is that you have to become that character. I feel for all of us the biggest challenge in the movie was not to be able to act well but to just be the characters we were playing. They are real people. So, uh, because the audience doesn't know what this experiment is exactly. what is it discussing? Exactly. And what is the discussion the experiment say we? Exactly. What was amazing is it is a film of characters. Each character no matter how black or white or grey, he may be, has a part of you in him. Action! So, Your Honor, we are not talking of the murder of any ordinary citizen. We are talking of the murder of Gandhiji. We are talking of the murder of Mahatma Gandhi. We are talking of the murder of the father of the nation. He was like a, he was like a tower which was reminding us all, we, which we keep talk, kept on looking at and who reminded us of to where we have to reach, you know. It was like one uh, light, light tower kind of a lighthouse kind of a person standing and you know, just reminding us and guiding us as to where we have to reach and what we are going to have to achieve, you know, in terms of trying to give our really, really best. And I think as, a, as an end result, irrespective of how big or small the roles of most artists are, they've all just come out with their, one of their finest performances in this movie. I think this is one of his best performances after Sarang's. Working with him as an actor is, is a joy because I think we read each other well as actors. He's, he's a brilliant uh, actor and he's brilliant in his analysis of other people's uh, work on their roles. As a cinematographer, as a to to tell the story in in the only way I know, which is through visuals, you know, that's what came into my mind. The story is it's it's a little complicated in the sense it's not really an easy, uh, simple uh, narrative. Uh, I don't think that you can externally decide, you know, how to treat a film because I think the subject speaks on its own, and the treatment uh, on the floor speaks in the way uh, speaks to determine how it's going to eventually cut. So uh, uh, you know, Janu Dada shot it in a particular style, and we pretty much stuck. Uh, to that style, we haven't drastically tried, you know, crazily different things, or you know, it's pretty much got a particular narrative uh, uh, nature, and we've stuck to that nature in, in cutting the film. सबके ज़िंदगी में ऐसा कभी-कभी वक्त आता है जब situations और problems life से बड़ी दिखने लगती है, and what is it that we do at that times makes us what we really are? Sometimes our strengths just sort of take over all the bigness of the situation and the problems we face. This film could have not been possible without an actress like Urmila of her caliber as an actor and also as a professional actor. Uh, she's extremely professional. Her understanding of the character is so uh, uh, amazing. Uh, and yet she does not give you the feel that she's 
giving this great performance. It's only when you see the film that you discover, oh, there are so many small, small nuances. She, ad she understands Trisha very well. She understands the father and daughter relationship uh, very well. In following that character, enacting that character, uh, that uh, Trisha's character, she was absolutely superb. She's an awesome artist, extremely talented actress. You're being a producer of the film also. Uh, but I think what worked in my favor was that I knew the character inside out. The biggest thing as a producer is that in any of the film making, in any of the stage, there is no compromise at all. Whether it was the, the timing that you know, the lighting took or the time, anything, anything could be just any aspect of film making. It was never made to feel that, oh God, we are making some kind of... So as an end result, you see a film which is a very fine product. Primarily, I'm an actor and I'm an actor-producer rather than producer-actor. So the producer used to always take back seats. I used to sometimes uh, feel that the raw stock is being used too much, so I used to keep in my mind, oh God, this is the 28th um, uh, Dabba, or things like that. But no, no, I think I was a, we were a very comfortable team, we were a very relaxed team. What I really admire about uh, Kher Saab is his willingness to share all the time, you know. Uh, if he ever feels you can do better or you haven't given, uh, you know, a hundred uh, uh, percent, even uh, as a fellow actor and producer in this film, he, he always is open and willing to bring you aside and say, you know, you think and this and that. And, but when he feels you've done a good job, he, he's as open in his praise. It was wonderful working with Anupamji because I think as an actor, it's the first time I've worked with him as a colleague and here he's also the producer. There's give and take, there's sharing, there's a pooling in of ideas, of suggestions. There's no, I'm bigger than you, you're bigger than me and you know, seniority or something. We are all there to create together what we want to do with a scene or, uh, or a film. Anupamji as a producer is a great human being. काम करके बहुत मजा आया मिलजुल के काम किया ऐसा लगा जैसे एक टीम वर्क है गो टू हिम एंड आस्क हिम एंड ही हैज द आंसर फॉर यू एंड ही ही गिव्स मी आल्सो द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेल माय फीलिंग्स एंड यू नो व्हाट आई थिंक इज राइट एंड रॉन्ग फॉर मी व्हिच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ अ पर्सन लाइक हिम यू नो टेलिंग मी टू यू नो and discussing things with me is a big thing for me man ka vishwas rago mein sahas bharta hai chadhkar girna phir kar chadhna na akharta hai and uh, anupam ji met uh, me and he said okay you know this is what i'm i'm looking at uh, producing and i'm looking for a dp so this is a script would you like to have a look i said i jumped on it and i said that is not a producer he's a f1 formula car racing driver that's what he is because he's on one roller coaster ride and he's not willing to stop so he's i mean he's got an amazing energy and amazing pace of working he wants everything not yesterday but 3 weeks ago he's also amazing because he's a multitasking person he can do 100 things at one time and still not lose focus uh janu barwa is like thin air he's everywhere and you can't see him janu barwa as a director uh, has been amazing because he's not only a brilliant filmmaker he knows exactly what he wants. Working with Januda was absolutely brilliant. I very rarely worked with a person who has such tremendous understanding of uh, human behavior and little nuances of it. I think I think he's a ten-time national award winner. But in working with him, he's every bit a multi-national award-winning director. I felt his treatment was appropriate to what the subject of the film was. I got un under the skin of the material, I realized that he's got total control over what he wants to do. Uh, it's, it's a very truthful uh, way of filmmaking, but at the same time a very uh, entertaining way of filmmaking. We're not trying to preach anything to anybody, but it's 
there, these are just elements which are uh, a part of the script. Without being preachy, I would say that uh, uh, it definitely gives you a grown-up and much more a richer feeling as an individual that definitely none of us can uh, miss while watching the film and none of us definitely can miss who have been a part of it. Oh, you, have you seen this film? It is like that film. This is like no other film. For us, corrupt man is the one who doesn't work for money. For us, corrupt man is the one who works for money. तो ये जो परिभाषा आज के टाइम में बदल गई तो वहाँ कहीं ना कहीं हमने गांधी की हत्या की है उसी चीज़ को बार बार शिद्दत से ये फिल्म कहने की कोशिश की थी दिस फिल्म इफ इट टच इज एवरीबडी इन द ऑडियंस इज नॉट बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी वेल टोल्ड स्टोरी बट बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी वेल फेल्ट स्टोरी इट्स स्पेशल टू मी बिकॉज 